Trevor here with Trevor's Two Wheel Talk. Here we are located at Road Atlanta, and right now I am with Peter Magsdard, aka Wook, short for Wookie. And I'm going to ask him a couple questions. So, Peter, what is your job? I'm what is known as a corner marshal. A corner marshal is a person that's responsible for working at the corners of the track where generally, hopefully, nothing happens, but when an accident happens, they respond to it. They respond by doing several things. They usually have a communication line. They talk to a person that's in the control tower who actually is the head corner marshal who is responsible for the entire track. And each individual corner then has its own corner marshal. They communicate with them, let them know what has happened and what they're doing to help fix the problem, whether it's a motorcycle going down, maybe a car race or for a car. And they are also using several different types of flags to where they can tell the other racers there what's happening at that point on the track that there's a danger or a problem to them. So for different series, there are different flags, but can you show us for WIRA what each flag means in like a different scenario? Sure. Most common flag is the caution flag. The caution flag is a solid yellow flag. It's used one or two ways. It's either used by holding it steady or by waving it. When you hold it steady, that means that it's like heads up. Something's in front of you. Something's, you're going to see something in a minute that you may have to avoid or do change your race line or do something about. If the flag is waving, that means the same thing, except that means that this is where the problem is and you can also not pass in this corner because of the incident, because it not only affects you, but it affects the other races around you. First flag. Second flag is the ambulance flag. Ambulance flag is a white one with a cross on it. This means that there's an ambulance or a other vehicle on the track. If it is being held, then that means that it's somewhere on the track. If it's being waved at that corner along with the yellow flag, that means this is where the incident is. Next flag is a debris flag. It's the red and yellow flag. This means that there is something on or near the track that's probably a danger to you. Sometimes it may be just off the track, so you can keep on going, but sometimes it may be, uh, it may be a knee pump. Uh, today over my corner at turn 11, a uh, guy lost his GoPro camera. It snapped off. Don't know where it snapped off from, but and I didn't see it for a little bit until somebody said something about it. I turned around and looked down, so I put this flag out for one lap to let all the races that were coming by know up ahead of you, from my corner to the next corner, there's something on the track that you should look at and avoid. Next flag is the oil flag. This means oil or suspicion of oil or suspicion of fluids. Uh, you know that in motorcycles, they only use antifreeze, you can only use water. So sometimes they're if a bike has uh, may not have enough water in there and it may be boiling out and it may just be running down, but nine times out of ten this means that there's oil or suspicion of oil up in front of you. And this is called the no-no flag. No-no flag means everything is shut down, there is a major problem, you're supposed to reduce your speed and go back to the pit area as in a normal, orderly fashion as soon as you can and get off the track so that other vehicles can get on the track to go fix whatever the major problem is. So how long are your days about? We are usually here an hour before the day starts, so if the track goes hot at 8 o'clock, we're here at 7, and we're here until it's all finished, then we get to leave. So why do you, like why are you specifically a corner marshal? Is there a certain reason why? or? I like motorcycles, I own five, and um, I used to travel for a living. When I got done traveling, I started going to motorcycle races. I'm not much of a person to sit around. And I knew what corner marshals did, but I never really thought about it until I met one of them. The guy was like, maybe you want to come try this. So I went to my, I did my first race in 98 in October for a Weir Grand National, and I've been doing it ever since. And I do Road Atlanta, I've done Daytona, I do uh, Little Talladega, I've done VIR, and I do Birmingham at Barber. Well, thank you, Peter. This has been Trevor's Two Wheel Talk.